I just wanted to talk to you for a, a moment um, about some, some words. Uh, the words are somebody and someone, anybody and anyone. Now, first of all, the, the body and the one parts of these words actually mean the same thing. They refer to a body or one. Mm. Anyway, so that means the same thing, okay? Uh, and basically, somebody and someone mean some person. I'm not saying which person or, or a specific person. I mean some person, someone or somebody. So it's not specific. It's indefinite. This is, this is somebody, uh, someone. These are called indefinite pronouns. Anyone or anybody, again, the one and the body mean the same thing. Uh, you know, one, body, same thing. And again, I'm not saying who. I'm not saying which person uh, or, or, or which body or which one. Uh, I'm just saying anyone, anybody, any person. But the, the any and the some parts of the words actually do have a different meaning. So that the body and the one, that means the same thing. But the any and the some, they mean different things. And they follow the same rules as some and any. Some is used in positive statements and in questions where we expect uh, the person to say yes. We expect a positive answer. Do you know what I mean? So, for example, if I say to you, <clears throat> would you like some ice cream? You're probably going to say yes. So, so if I use some in a question, it's because I expect you to say Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And any, the word any, is used in, in negative statements and in questions where you don't know what answer you're going to get. And we use uh, anyone and anybody in the same way. So, for example, here's a question. Has anybody seen my shoes? Has anybody seen my shoes? Anybody? Has anybody? Have you seen my shoes? Have you? Has anybody seen my shoes? Or in uh, negative statements. For example, I've just started a new class. But I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone in my new class. I don't know anyone. Now, we come on to uh, no one and nobody. Now, no one and nobody mean exactly the same thing. They mean no one person. Not one person. No, no, no person. No person at all. No one, for example, no one likes being hit on the head with a frying pan. Thus, ah, I didn't like that. No one likes that. Ah, and nobody likes it either. And now, everyone and everybody. These words mean all people. Every one person, every person, all people, everyone. Now, when these words are used as subjects in sentences, they come before singular verbs. So, we say, everyone knows. No one likes. Someone knows. No one knows. Does anyone know? And that's it. Wow. <laughs>